Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Otter Goes to School by Sam Garten. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. One morning, I asked Otter Keeper how he got to be so clever in the first place. He told us that when he was little, he went to a super fun place called school. At school, you learn a lot and get really clever. School is why Otter Keeper is good at so many things and why he hardly ever makes spelling mistakes. I decided I would start my own school. I knew a lot of people who weren't as clever as they could be. After Otter Keeper left for work, I got everyone ready. We had to hurry. Nobody wanted to be late on our first day. At school, I made sure everyone was settled in, and then I said goodbye. This part was a bit sad. I hoped the new teacher would look after everybody. Luckily, just then, the best teacher ever arrived. I apologized for being late and introduced myself to the class. I showed them my special teacher dress and my beautiful teacher purse and most important, my friendly teacher face. Then I told everyone to stop talking. It was time for school. First, it was time for math. I wrote down all the numbers I knew. No one could work out what to do after that, so everyone just took turns holding the calculator. Giraffe was very good at math. I was very pleased with Giraffe. I gave him lots of gold stars. Next, we had music lessons. Pig had a beautiful singing voice. I was very pleased with Pig. I gave him several gold stars too. After that, it was story time. I read everyone my favorite book. I even did different voices. I was very pleased with me. So I gave me the rest of the gold stars. At lunch, everyone was excited. We were all feeling really clever. Giraffe counted potato chips. And Pig made up a funny song all about lunch. But Teddy was feeling sad. I took Teddy aside for a friendly chat. He said he didn't like school. The other students were better than him at everything. I had no idea what to do. So I waited for Otter Keeper to come home. As soon as he got back, we held an emergency parent-teacher meeting at the big table. I explained that Teddy wasn't good at anything and that I wasn't very good at being a teacher. Otter Keeper gave me a cuddle. He said that everyone is good at something and that you just need to find out what that something is. I think Otter Keeper is right. There was time for one more lesson before dinner. So we decided to have art class. And when it was time to show our pictures, something really wonderful happened. I showed everyone my picture of a tree. Pig showed everyone his picture of a guitar. Giraffe showed everyone his picture of a calculator. And then Otter Keeper showed us the picture Teddy had drawn all by himself. It was the best picture ever. It turns out that Teddy was very good at art and I was good at being a teacher after all. The end. 
Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book, and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye!